All right, so let's talk about um, scenes. And what um, scenes, of course, are great for helping you remember, um, you know, recall instantly any of the previous settings that you've done. So if you have set up different songs for different services, and actually I'm just going to show you uh, what we have here uh, set up at the sanctuary. You can see that they have a scene per song that is set up. So for each one of these songs, um, you can see that these were the last services uh, that were held here. They can instantly recall right before each one of those songs and pull those up. So as you would expect with a scene. Um, some new things that we've added for scenes is the ability to actually do an audio crossfade uh, when you change scenes. And this is actually really, really cool and gives you a nice professional uh, scene crossfade. And it's something that's typically not available at any console in this price point. And it's coming to our M300 console um, also in an update that'll be available uh, by the end of the year. So in order to save the scene, the first thing that we're going to do, let's, let's uh, set something up that actually sounds um, half decent. So I'm going to play this and just do an acoustic kind of version of the uh, song that we've been listening to. Let's pull it up. Okay, so I've set this up with the faders down instead of muting the channels on purpose because I want you to see what happens when we do the audio crossfade. So I'm going to store this as a scene. Let's go into store. Conveniently already pre-named for me. So let's put the quotation marks here. Now we're going to store that. And when we store a scene, we save every parameter of the console um, that's there. And we can filter on the recall. I'll show you that in a moment. So next thing that we're going to do is let's bring up uh, some of the other uh, instruments uh, to where we want them to be. And Okay, and let's uh, store that one. Slightly different name here. And we'll store that. And what we're going to do is go into the parameter edit screen of the scene. Let's bring that down. And you can see this new fade section here, use fade. And we can set this for up to 100 seconds which is an extremely long scene change. However, you can do it. Um, but for the purposes of this, let's leave it at about five seconds. So let's pull this down here. And you can also notice that while we're in the scene parameter edit screen, if I wanted to tie all of my M48s, their memory locations um, to this. So if we set scenes and we've saved memory locations so that the mixes are set up per song for the musicians, when we recall the scene, we can recall all the M48s at the same time. Then we can also adjust, uh, change all of the parameters for the input patch bays, the preamp settings, our channels uh, that we want, DCA and mute groups, and then talk back and oscillator. And if we go into detail, uh, which particular channels we want to have when we recall that uh, exact scene. So it's quite a bit of surgery that you can do on your scenes here to be able to recall those um, any way that you want. So let's close uh, that out. And then we have a global scope as well. Sorry, it's processing there. And uh, let's go to Global Scope. And Global Scope is, regardless of any scene every single time, uh, we will not recall the mains in this case. And I typically recommend to everybody, when you, go, when you have your scenes set up and ready, turn off your mains. Because if you saved a scene with your uh, fader at uh, 0 dB for your mains, uh, some scenes are up there, other scenes are down. 
uh, lower, when you recall scenes, you're going to have your mains volume jumping all over the place. So go in your global scope and turn these, uh, these check boxes off. So that way your mains level isn't jumping all over. It's just your fader levels for your channels that are actually being affected. And that's uh, one nice way to be able to uh, make your mixing uh, better and uh, for the for your uh, congregation or, or your, and your audience, uh, much, much better. Now that we have these uh, set up and ready to go, um, let's just recall this scene. And I think I have this set up for fate. Yes? OK. So now when I recall this scene here, can you see all the faders moving? All right. And then let's uh, press play here. Do something a little more dramatic for you here. There we go. All right, so did you see that? It just pulls down the faders, and it prioritizes the DSP so that the audio is taking priority, then the faders uh, will join to match it. But it's a nice professional feature that you can do, especially if you make scene changes. We put it in here for the purposes of theater, uh, because theater, obviously, they have multiple, multiple scene changes, and they need to do them on the fly while the actors are still on the stage. So this allows it to actually do an audio crossfade while we're in there. So that's uh, the power of, of scenes that are built in there.